I think we can all agree that Pep's Barca is a lot different from Xavi's Barca. As Barcelona continues to evolve, we also see a lot of changes. Although Xavi has different player profiles today, I think a lot of those changes are influenced based on his decisions and tactics and also the signings that Barcelona has made. So in this video, we'll be comparing the two teams to see how Xavi's Barca are different and are we moving away from the Barcelona way. But as always, do subscribe to the channel to help us to grow. If you know around here, we post at least three times a week. Let's get right into it. The basic build-up principles are exactly the same, where the center backs are the ones who receives the ball. Pep Barca, however, also had a back three. In this case, we saw the right back Dani Alves, who was the one who was allowed to go a lot more forward than the left back Abidal. We even did see that Alves was going as far forward as the one being the width, with Pedro slightly inverting. As with Xavi's Barca, you are seeing Gavi on the left wing where he inverts. We you now see that Pedri is the one who takes up the other position. So the difference now, Xavi has a midfielder in that half space where Pep had a winger. And not only that, when Bald actually went forward to be the one who keeps the width, you would now see that Javi also have a double pivot to keep this box in midfield that you see game in and game out. Sergio Busquets was the sole pivot in Pep's Barca. But now with Xavi's Barca, you see Oyo, Romeo and Frankie always playing together with it as a double pivot. So you can now actually say that Xavi's Barca is more defensive than Pep's Barca. Another similarity is the box midfield that Xavi always wants to play to outnumber most midfields in Europe. However, did you know that Pep's Barca also had a box or a four-man midfield? But however, it was Xavi that was dropping next to the space into Sergio Busquets that should teams press high, Xavi would be dropping, whereas Lionel Messi would be coming from the false nine position in order to keep and complete the midfield box. But here's the difference. Xavi wasn't a dedicated pivot, he was actually a lot more higher. So he would drop from his free 8 position and then he worked his way backwards towards Sergio Busquets. And with the movement he was drawing a lot of players out of position where Lionel Messi could easily receive the ball in behind. And you know once Messi turns his head towards goal, the rest is history. But Xavi already has a pivot deep in his box, meaning that it's much easier for teams to pick up Xavi's box than it is to pick up Pep Guardiola's box. And this double pivot actually slows down Barcelona's build-up play a lot. We just don't realize it because Frankie is a good dribbler. Just look how unorganized this Real Madrid side is now because of Pep's box, based simply on the movement that Xavi was making and Messi as well. But when you look at Xavi's box, you will see, because these guys are already in that position, look how Valverde and Cruz is already picking them up to be able to make sure that they don't receive the ball. Look at the build-up phase over here where Cruz and Modric is now picking them up. So it is easier to defend against Xavi's box than it was to defend against Pep's box. So there's small differences but huge impacts. Also look at the ball circulation. Pep's guys are always stopping the ball, the next one is a pass. And look how they all are constantly moving within their position. Constantly moving and the passes are really smooth and it's always moving. And they are also keeping Real Madrid moving in this instance from center back. Look at Puyol passing the ball. Always moving guys. So you are moving the opposition this way very easily as well. And this is how what makes Pep different. But look at Chavis Barca how these guys are on their heels. Look at all of them are not moving, staying still so the opposition can defend well. Look at Christensen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 touches before he passes the ball. Now Busquets 2 touches, now the ball is moving. However, it's easy to serve for the opposition. Everybody is taking their time and passes to move the ball. So the major differences are the fact that Javi is allowing players to have more touches on the ball. Where in the Pep era, people were only having one or two touches, three at the most. And there was only certain players like Lionel Messi who was advised by Pep to take more than two touches. 
And also the fact that while the ball is moving, none of Barcelona's players today are moving in comparison to the Pep era where everybody was moving while the ball was moving. And that is how Pep managed to move the opposition around. And those are small differences, but it's key major factors that makes it so different from each other. Pep's Barca was also insanely more fluid than Xavi's Barca. Even though these players were moving constantly to different positions, we did see a tendency where some positions would never be left alone, even if the players are out of position. For example, if Messi would drop into the midfield and he would receive the ball in between the lines to overload the midfield, then you would see somebody like Pedro go to the 9th position and Alves be there. So even though they changed positions, the positions are still filled with players. Even though the midfield as well, they would constantly change their positions as well. But did you see the box? They never changed the box. Even if you see Busquets higher, Messi higher, deeper, it doesn't matter. The guys stayed and they filled certain positions constantly. This was making Barcelona so hard to press against and so hard to defend against. And unfortunately, this is not a tendency that we see from a Xavi's Barca. And that is another small difference, but a huge impact. It's fairly evident if you look at how deep Messi is right here and then you see Dani Elvis is keeping the width while Pedro or David Villa in this instance are all in the nine in winger positions. Look how deep Messi is taking Xavi's position. But look where Xavi is going. He's going to Messi's position. Alves again keeping the width. Iniesta in the half space. Pedro also dropping towards the ball. But look at Xavi's bar. So you see where's Robert Lewandowski, but no, is, no one is going to his position. Look, Pedro is uh, actually running sideways. So this is the small differences, guys, that I'm talking about. Look at over here. Look at where's Robert Lewandowski, where's Pedro, where's Dembele. These guys are all over the place. And this is the small changes with a huge impact that's making the Barcelona almost fade away. Although Xavi's Barca is not as strong as Pep's Barca, I think it's pretty evident that the changes are not based on personnel only, but it's also based on tactics and changes that both managers have and principles. If the core fundamentals was the same for an example like positioning and movement, you would have seen a much better Xavi Barcelona. However, it is evident like I proved in this video that it is much different from Pep's Barca than Xavi's Barca. But do let me know down in the comment section what do you think about all of this. I will be dropping a part 2 on this video. Thank you very much.